Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can upload your AccuRig characters, try out motions with ActorCore, and then share them to other platforms or devices. You can use the embedded code to create your own unique websites as well. Let's start off with uploading our characters using the AccuRig workflow. Once your model is imported, simply place the markers correctly according to the template and be sure to use the various test motions to test the results of the auto rigging. This process is super quick and easy, and if you're not familiar with the workflow, you can learn more from our dedicated tutorials. In this case, I'm going to upload the completed character to ActorCore. You want to ensure here that you're logged into the same account for both AccuRig and the ActorCore site. Next, let's look at how we can share the character via URL and QR code. Once uploaded, you'll find your character in the Uploaded Actors section under Personal Actors. You can test out the various environmental templates here. Let's click on Share Actor to see the options we have. You first need to change to Shared from the drop down menu, and the URL link will appear. You can also enable Download via the checkbox. If you copy the URL link to a web browser, the character will be shown on the ActorCore website under Shared Actors with a default idle motion. You can add other motions to this list, which we'll discuss a bit later. You can also share your character via common social platforms, as well as an embed code or QR code. You can download the QR code as a PNG image, or else share the URL link. Following the link will display the character in full screen depending on the device's resolution. Let's explore some of the actor and motion settings next. With your character loaded up, you can go to the Motion tab and test out the entire library of motions. When you find a motion that you like, simply add it to the motion list from the top right of the preview window. You can also go into your inventory of already purchased motions and add them to your motion list as well. Simply use the same Add to Motion List button on the top right of the preview window, and we'll see the list a bit later. There is also an edit icon at the top of the preview window that will take you to the actor settings. Under info, you can set the thumbnail, actor name, and description. You can also find additional specs and the upload date here. Under motion list, you'll find all of the motions that were previously added. Unpurchased motions will be in red, and you can click on the cart button when mousing over to add them to your cart. You can click on the trash can icon to delete motions from your list, and also click and drag them to change the order on the list. The default motion will be the first one that shows up when sharing your character. Clicking and dragging in the preview window will allow you to stop at a preferred frame where you can proceed to click on Capture Pose to assign that thumbnail to the particular motion. Source Motion will take you back to the original motion in ActorCore, so be sure to save your motion list before continuing. If there is a motion where the character leaves the preview window, you can use the Move in Place option to keep the camera focused on the character. There is also a Move in Place option in the viewer settings you can enable so that the person viewing doesn't need to activate it manually. There are a few other options in viewer settings that we will explore in a bit, but for now I'll just set a nice atmosphere and find a good frame to save to my thumbnail and click on Save Current View. From there, 
ensure that you save the settings and then refresh the actor core page. This will update the page with the custom camera view, light setting, and motion list. You can see now that we have all of the motions listed in the motion list and we can go through them one by one to test them in the preview window. Here's a look at how the preview will look on different devices with different dimensions. Next, let's take a look at the embed settings and create an embed code for use on a website. Under Share Actor, if we click Embed, the settings window will come up with the options to customize a few things, including the dimensions of the viewer, the UI overlay, the background, as well as the camera lock type. There is a single click copy embed code button at the bottom, and you can also test out the results via the sandbox page. Because we have a transparent background, decreasing the dimensions will make it seem like the model is further back in the scene, and increasing the dimension size will make it larger. You can also test out the UI options as well. If you have multiple animations, you'll probably want to have controls active so that the user can access the motion list. Play bar and title bar are up to your preference. In order to change display settings such as lighting, you'll need to go back to the viewer settings. Remember to recapture the thumbnail and save before going back to the embed settings. You'll need to recopy and paste the embed code to view the updates. Now we can test out all of our motions with the new dimension and atmosphere settings. There are a ton of different ways in which you can utilize this new actor core feature, including interacting with different elements of your website in any number of ways. The only limit is your creativity. On the website, you can find various showcases to inspire you, and we will also have other tutorials that go into more details on a number of different techniques and scenarios for spicing up your website with accurate characters via ActorCore. That's it for this tutorial though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.